Hi everyone, welcome back. In previous lecture, we have seen the general Docker workflow. In this lecture onwards, we will start dockerizing Spring Boot application. Well, here are the development steps to dockerize a Spring Boot application. First step, we will create a Spring Boot application and we will build some REST APIs. In second step, we will create a Docker file to build the Docker image for our Spring Boot application. Next, we will see how to build the Docker image from the Docker file. And next, we will see how to run a Docker image in a docker container next we will see how to push this docker image on a docker hub so these are the steps that we are going to perform in order to dockerize a spring boot application in this lecture let's go ahead and let's create a spring boot application and we will import that spring boot application in an IntelliJ idea all right so let's go to a browser in a new tab just type start.spring.io this will bring up spring initializer and here we have different types of projects we are going to use marvin so let's select marvin over here and here let's keep java as selected next here we are going to use spring boot 3 so let's keep spring boot 3 as selected over here next let's pull up the project metadata so here let's give group as net.java guides well here i am going to give project group as net.java guides but you can give any group that you want next let's view artifact as spring boot docker demo and then project name is same as artifact and description demo project for spring boot and docker and then package name net.javaguides.springboot next packaging let's keep jar as selected over here and next java 17 well remember whenever you select spring boot version 3 then make sure that you have to select java version 17 because spring boot 3 requires java 17 or later all right next let's go to dependency section over here and here let's add spring boot starter web dependency to build the rest apis okay so this single dependency is enough as of now next let's go ahead and click on generate button to generate this project as a zip file in a local machine next let's go ahead and let's open this zip file in a folder and next let's unzip this zip file let's go ahead and let's open the IntelliJ idea here I have opened the integer idea. Next, here we have three options: new project open, get from VCS. Well, we are going to open the existing Marvin project in integer idea. So go ahead and click on open over here. And next, go to the location where your Spring Boot application is present. In my case, it's in download folder. So go to downloads folder, and here we have Spring Boot Docker demo project. Select it and click on open. So this will open Spring Boot application in integer idea. Once we create a Spring Boot application and import in IntelliJ IDEA, next let's go and let's create one simple REST API. So go to base package over here and here let me create one new package and let's give name as controller. Within a controller package, let's create one Java class and let's give class name as Docker controller, something like that. And let's go ahead and let's annotate this controller class with add rest controller annotation to make this class as a spring muc rest controller and within this controller we can define the rest apis so here just type public and let's give a return type of the method as string and let's give method name as docker demo and then let, let's return some string over here let's say dockerizing Spring Boot application. All right, perfect. Next, let's go and let's annotate this method with add get mapping annotation. So this get mapping annotation will map incoming HTTP get request to this particular method. Next, let's provide the REST API URL for this method over here. So let's do something like Docker. Alright, perfect. Now we have built a simple REST API. Next, let's go and let's run the Spring Boot application and let us test this REST API. So here, let me go to main point class and from here, I'm going to run our Spring Boot application. Well, notice here, our Spring Boot application is up and running in an embedded Tomcat server on port 8080. Next, let's go to browser. In a new tab, just type localhost colon 8080 slash docker hit enter and there we go 
the client got the response of the HTTP as a dockerizing Spring Boot application. It means we have successfully created a Spring Boot application and we have imported an IntelliJ idea and also we have created one simple REST API. Next step is we need to create a docker file and we need to define all the instructions or commands to build the docker image for a Spring Boot application. All right. In next lecture, we'll see how to create a docker file and how to define the instructions or command to build the docker image. All right, great. I will see you in the next lecture.